Seven Days to Die, Alpha 9, Video 2. Maybe we'll find something cool. If not, maybe my video will end soon. I don't know. You can go a long way in between settlement areas where you can kind of uh, get set up and everything. Uh, it, it, can, it can be a while. Um, my wife claimed when she first played the game, it took her about two days to really find anything that she could use. Uh, so she was just running around like with her fists, you know? And you can always uh, punch some sticks, you know? And uh, use a stick as a last resort. You get some sticks, you get some stones, sharpen the stones, you make yourself a stone axe. Uh, you get some sticks and some grass, you can make yourself a crossbow, etc, etc, etc. So there's a lot of ways that you can um, get what you need from the very little that's offered. Um, just, I guess, survival tip. Um, you can get some, uh, if you, well, I wouldn't want to punch that, would you? No, me neither. These will make gravel, whatever good that does. I, I think gravel plays a role. Of course, bird nests, you can get some feathers. I might get some feathers while I'm there. Uh, I don't think... I think I've probably already gotten this book. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I got a new recipe sweet. Um... I wonder what I got. I don't know. I wish it would tell you. Maybe maybe that's a good change. Um, let's take one of these down here. Oh, let's try and see if I got this urban combat book. I did! Six new recipes. Sweet! Uh, oops, wrong button. Okay, um... Here we go. Cleared up a little territory in my thing. I've got plenty of feathers. I should probably back off on that. Got a uh, pistol barrel, and which is good because I've got everything, I think, but the barrel uh, back at my house. Oh, I need to eat something, speaking of. Do that real quick. Okay, we're good. Let's take this, put this down. Yeah, there's a little water. Get my hydration up. It's dry out here in the wasteland. There we go. Feeling much better now. And I brought extra water. And I found water since I've been here, so there is uh, plenty of water. I've really not had an issue getting water in this game. Um. Food, a little bit more, but not much more. But of course, I have my, my loot setting at uh, like 120% or something like that, because that's why I like uh, like the accessibility of resources and I don't have to work too hard. Are we still heading north? I don't think we are. Hold on. Did I just do a circle? No, no, okay, I'm in unknown territory. Alright, let's check out this direction. I don't know, it's a little northeast, see what's up there. I haven't hit, hit that corner at all. If there is a such a thing as a corner in this particular game, um, because they've just taken it to such a point where um, I don't know how big the map is. If there is an end to it, I, you would think it can't be infinite, but maybe it is. I don't know. But I imagine your save game would get re really, really big after a while, even if the game is just playing through, because it's got to remember every change you make to the environment, right? I mean, so I could see how the actual process of it might not be too bad, but the save game could get large and hard to read. I don't know. Just the horizon. Yeah, oh, more gun parts. That's another rifle for me. Okay, I got a rifle barrel, and now I got a pistol barrel. At home I got the rest of the parts, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it appears there's two types of shotguns. There is the pump shotgun, and then there is the sawed-off shotgun, which, uh has been the rule of this one, this one, but there's also a long barrel shotgun, I think, probably holds less rounds, uh, I don't know, yeah, a lot of nothing, huh, yeah, where am I on the map, I'm just walking, a lot of nothing, let's see a change in the environment, I want a new biome, can I get a new biome? In this modern, in this, this new random generated world, will they have like, uh, desert biomes? A but hold on. Alright, so that's the desert biome. Finally found one of those. Right next to it is a winter biome. Must be mountainous or something, I guess. 
Hey, a desert biome. Yay, desert biome. What is this going to look like? And I get to pick up my favorite plant. One of my favorite plants of all. Agave. So I love me some agave juice. Um, so we got some water. So generally in the desert, by the water, you're going to see a little bit more extra growth. Um, for realism's you know, sake, if, you know, as a person who actually lives in Arizona, uh, I'm not really not sure where the fun pimps uh, are. But, uh... But yeah, you'll actually see greening around the water edge, which makes sense. Generally speaking, that's where you're going to find trees and stuff in a, in a desert biome. I have plenty of bullets. Don't worry about bullets. <laughs> All right. Being followed. Who follow me, creepy? This is the new water sound. They added, I think, only for a... Uh, uh, get underwater. I cannot breathe. Woo! I can breathe again? Come on. Yeah, fix yourself, goddammit. I already died once from not doing that. So I have no idea where I'm going, uh, except I'm going into a desert biome. Explore! You're probably gonna end up having to find a place to crash. Because this could get pretty uh, tricky getting back. I'm getting pretty far from home. Um, so maybe I'll look for a place to crash. There's gotta be something up here, right? Oh yeah, see this is this is nice. Little rounds, little rounds. There's lots of these in the desert. There's tons of them. There's some cliffs. Very good, very good. Cliffs are very important. Uh, it's realism, is what it is. Okay, so... I guess I'm going to keep heading north. See what we can find. There's a nice bundle of cacti. Nice bundle of cacti. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. That's Careful of the cactus! I've seen zombies hump a cactus to death. Like trying to climb it and get to it and stuff. It's funny to watch, man. They just keep on trying to climb the cactus. Alright, I've got to find something. If not, I could be in trouble. Well, I still have about five game hours uh, before I am in trouble, so we're just going to keep looking for now. Pick up some agave. Maybe I'll get some agave cooking. I love me some agave. Uh, let's cook up some agave. There we go. Put you there. Get it. Boop. Like that. Okay. Let's keep that going. Uh, aloe's good for medicated bandages, but I just tend to try not to get hurt. <laughs> Or keep the pain pills. In. Oh, this, is, uh, this looks interesting up here. This looks very typical <laughs> of a desert environment. You'll see this kind of stuff a lot of times. Uh, there's a place in Colorado called the Garden of the Gods. Really is something to see. I mean, like, if you throw a little bit of that in there, fun pimps, Garden of the Gods type stuff, just kind of like uh, random rock sculptures like you'd see in a. Uh, major, uh, like, national park, desert, you know, desert-based national park. But this is, oh, this is awesome. I love it. And only, only could a random world probably create something like this. Well, I mean, no, nah, I guess, no, nah, that, that's not fair. A person could intellectually come up with something like this, but... But really, that, that's... Ran nature is random, right? So... It really is uh, very nice what they've done here. Is this a... Am I, what am I walking into? Those are trees up ahead. A desert right on a winter? Yeah, I kind of thought that might happen. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. Let me check the map again. 
right on the winner. Let's follow the river up and see where it goes. Um, let's get some more agave juice going. There we go. <clears throat> all right. Plenty of sticks. All kinds of goodies here. Although that sound doesn't quite work unless you have trees. That is actually probably what it would sound like in a semi-desert environment. Oh, that's interesting dirt. In a semi-desert environment by the water, it's not going to be all sand, it's going to be lusher. Uh, in a way, whatever. I'm going to follow the water. See if there's anything I can use or move to. Yeah, take a look around. Still have hours before I have to find some place to crash. So yeah, you can kind of literally go for a really long time without getting into any kind of civilization. Although I'm probably close to those gas stations. Um, uh, well, semi-close. Where am I? Yeah, they're right over there. See, it's actually not far from where I am. But I'm looking for something uh, in the desert biome. Cliffs and chasms, yep, that is indeed how it can look, right there. Very cool. See, this is ha what makes this game, man. I gotta take a picture. This is uh, how this new system, I don't, you can probably hear that, but th this is how this new system uh, makes things, um, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like this game. Uh, I don't know how they can possibly, uh, what they're going to do to up themselves, but this uh, random generated world stuff, just genius, man. Love it. Love it, guys. I really need to find a place to crash. Is that a building? What is that? What am I looking at? Is that wasteland? Yeah, it's wasteland next to the desert. I need to find a building or something I can think about crashing in here relatively soon <coughs> or ow ow oh cactus ouchie Ouchie Tis only a flesh wound my friend tis only a flesh wound Okay I wanna find desert houses Uh I, I need some water drink some water There we go. I want to find desert buildings! Where are the desert buildings? There has to be some. It's just... Yeah, you can go for a while and, like, find nothing, and then you just, like, happen on a city, or, I mean, the... Part of what really works about the random is, besides stuff like this, which just looks super cool, in some ways could probably only, I don't know if the, this is totally random, that, that's kind of natural, man. This is how things work. Look, cliffs, chasms, I mean, it would be a little more defined, it would be more like mesa, or mesas, you know? But I love this that there are cliffs now. I mean, I imagine for a person who's creative wants to make a cliff castle, <laughs> uh, that could be pretty freaking cool. I mean, you could build a little thing out of the side of one of these mesas. Uh, even more than you could before. Build it sort of right into it. And then you could build up around it. You can expand the mesa as you dig out the sandstone. Uh, really kind of, I think it's going to open it up for the, the creative player or the player who likes to build. I have no idea where I'm going. Where am I going? Alright, still going in the direction I have not been, so that's uh, a plus. Worst case scenario, I lay, a, I sit up on one of these mesas and just chill. Need some big ones of these, like a Grand Canyon. Wow, if you could increase the tweak on that, I, I, you could make some... I don't know, whatever your random formula is, I mean, whatever the random formula is. They could tweak on this and make some killer canyons. That would be like Arizona. 
heard a lot. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, uh. Hello. Hi, horde. Hi, horde. Okay, okay. Um. Wow. Well, I've seen bigger since the random, but uh, let me get clear shots, okay? I think I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to follow this road in a direction I have not been until I find something. And hopefully nothing sneaks up behind me. There you go, one down. Oh, this is the place for the jazz music. Jazz music time. Some old public domain jazz music. One I've already won, or one I will win. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, one problem without a mini map, you kind of have to check behind you, make sure you're not getting snuck up from behind, which can obviously happen. Uh, and then you'll be sorry. Oh, missed. Head bobbers. The worst. Like a chicken head. You like a chicken head. Look at him bobbing his head back and forth. I don't even know what to say about that. He got some sort of muscle memory. I wonder how he got that chicken head muscle memory. This guy, what do you figure he was? He was some, uh, I don't know, like, uh, bouncer, perhaps? Um, cowboy? Farmer? Native guy? Let's look at his face. He could be native. He could be naked and all his hair fell out. He could be a Navajo or something. Tall. Um, Navajo can be pretty tall. Very tall. Tall folks. Yeah. Maybe he's a Navajo. He could be a Hopi, but he's too tall. Maybe he's a Navajo too. There you go, one dead. Alright! Well, that was fun. Okay, uh, so we got all through that. Alright, now what direction do I want to head? Either actually looks like it'll work, but I'm going to go north. I'm going to take the road north, and I'm going to see what's up there. And I have got to find me a piece of civilization where I can uh, comfortably rest, or i got to find me a mesa to hang out on. Because it is, I'm about uh, three to four hours from danger day. Danger time. Stranger danger. I'm going to follow this road, and hopefully I find something up here. Man, a horse would be nice. Bicycle, even. Nice bicycle action going on. Take a little champ break here, eat some some sham. Move you over, and I got all this you could juice now. And we're going to take, we're going to make some more you could juice. Actually, let me throw some of that in there. There you go. Just craft that. There we go. Have a drink of you could. It's been a while. I, uh, the last yuka I had in this game was in a garden in one of the, like, rich houses and stuff. So north goes into the wasteland, huh? I don't want to go to the wasteland. Uh, I'd be safer in the desert. Oh, uh, well, it does go on forever. Oh, uh, I'm chancing it. Let me go some more agave. Not finding a lot of resources out here, but I think I have enough to get me through until I do find something uh, other than desert. I'd be safer on a uh, hidden in one of these little canyon mesas, man, than I would be in a big old empty field city like that. Shoot. Well, I gotta be stranded out here for the night. Uh, you know. I want to be prepared and whatnot. See, this I could hang out right here. Right here, look at that. Nobody would see me right here. It's totally safe. Yeah, mostly safe. Mostly safe. Safer. Safer than being in the middle of nowhere where you can be easily seen. Um, come on, give me a building. Give me a campsite. Building. Military base. Still haven't seen a military base. I would like, I would like a big gun. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Find a nice big gun. Alright. 
to have a little yucca when you're tired. Nothing hits the spot more than yucca. Get out, put your stamina right back up there again. Really, it really hits the spot. You know what I like when I'm tired and had a long day? I like a nice glass of yucca juice. Really brightens your mood. And puts it. <laughs> what do they call that? It's a little spunk in your stuff. See, if this were more can, I mean, it's kind of canyony, but this could get way more canyony, and that would be a lot like Arizona uh, in the part where it is like that. And this is one deserted desert. Just go. Where's an? Where's my old mole type place? I want one of those. I might be spending the night on Mesa tonight. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of starting to look that way if I don't find something soon. I mean, I'll be safe up there. Like, uh, you know, chances are you're not going to run into anybody. It's the desert. Even zombies don't like it in the desert. <laughs> it's not fit for life, zombie or otherwise. Okay, this would be a decent mesa if I had to pick one. Uh, but it could be more over here. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to keep looking. Woo! I am lost. Nothing. Nothing. It's so real. Wait. No, I think that's another. Is that a mesa or a house? I think it's. I think. I think it's. Where am I? All the way down there, looking down there, huh? Shit. Um. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do, brah. Might have to find a little pointy house, pointy place. Try and keep low for the night. Uh, get up high where they can't see you so good. Just, uh, yeah, I might have to. It'd be cool if they added snakes. People add snakes. Headed east. We'll keep heading east till I run into something. A road to follow. Uh, something. But all I have is more desert. Just like real life. Actually, I live in the nice mountainous area uh, north of Arizona. Northern Arizona. So It's actually quite nice here. A uh, little dry. You know, far from the course. Well, is this encouraging? Sorta. Of. Man, more shit I don't need. I don't need corn seed neither, though, for that matter. Alright, looks like, uh... Man, I don't know if he's gonna help or not. What am I gonna do? I've got to find a place to crash, man. I think we're headed back in out here. I think we're back into the desert. Just gonna suck it up. Hopefully we don't get caught out by a horde, but if I'm up high enough, they'll just go around. Um, yeah, I don't got time to screw around. If I get stuck out here, I could be in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. This would make a killer canyon. Alright, that looks pretty good over there. Nice little raised areas. Uh, out of general view. Um, I think we're going to risk it. I'll probably go off video for me uh, just trying to survive the desert night unless something happens and then I'll put on my, can my video again. Um, how's this look? Alright, I gotta deal with this guy. I he's way too close for my comfort. He can't run yet, so he's gotta die. Ow! Fucking cactus. Too close for comfort. You're too close, man. Too close. Alright. Take all 
all that. There we go. Okay. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I got a bollocks choices right here. How's this look? Man, not good choices, but I better choose something soon. Something hard for zombies to climb, but I can manage this this one. Is the I think this is the one I was looking at earlier. Yeah, yeah, this one. This one. <sighs> Let's take a break. This looks pretty isolated. I think I can work with this. Yeah. Get that Akave. Isolated and it's up high. And I even got a little indent. Yep, this is where I'm camping tonight. Alright, before I take off film, um let's do a couple quick things. Things you could you too can do at night to stave off incredible boredom. Especially when you don't have a house you can go to, and you're stuck in the middle of the desert. Matter of fact, I don't even think I have a lot of food right now, do I? No, I do not. I do not have food. Okay, well that's alright, that's alright, I think I'm fine. Um, I got yucca, that'll give me some uh, food. I got plenty of water, so that's not a concern. Oh, there's some cans. I could have a problem with bees. Hornets. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, this is my spot tonight. Right up here. Might be able to get some uh, good running with the zombies footage, because you know they run at night. They go like a little... Okay, well, I'm getting ready to bed in and... Uh, hopefully I don't get seen by anything, because if I do, I'm in uh I'm in deep stuff. Deep stuff. We'll sign off on that one. Okay. Alright. If anything happens, I'll get that. But uh This is the new uh, okay, let's uh this is my update, the uh nine update for seven days to die. I updated so it could get a lot more complicated with the uh random stuff. This which by the the random world generator in summation, the random sort world generator is uh, just really cool, really cool. Uh, I'm liking it, and uh, maybe you'll check it out. Maybe you'll like it too. I don't know. Maybe you'll like this video. If you do, like, comment, share, uh, and um, subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more. That's for sure. Uh, and good night, folks. Well, probably. Okay, unfortunately. Uh, so far so good, but just a little update, I am, uh, along the path of a running of zombies. Uh, as you can see here they come, uh, it's, it's not the largest horde I've ever seen, but, uh, it makes them mean it a little nervous, then. So I'm just gonna hide behind this here rock, it's, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Every night they run. Unfortunately, this night they decided to run very close to me. Uh... I think I'm safe though, so I got that going for me. Uh, I guess just I told you something exciting happened. I would let you know. Yeah, they're not going as fast as they were. There was a uh, there was a good bunch of them. You kind of maybe see them in the distance, but they were running right through there, like just over this ridge, very close. Uh, a little bit nerve-wracking, but okay. All right, that's it. Update. Anything else happens?